return to, turn to Austria now for the final race of the European season before the double header in the United States. Red Bull looked for victory at the home race with fresh but with a fresh round of upgrades to help to help both Gasly and Verstappen get the best out of the car and hopefully Verstappen to drive him further up the drop standings. Renault looked to take a further grip on the Constructors' Championship and hope that Ricardo can support Hulkenberg or Hulkenberg can support Ricardo and hopefully both of them end up being 1-2 a bit like in Azerbaijan earlier. Renault said it would have even neither driver going into the World Championship but it would be looking to secure the Constructors' Championship as soon as possible to allow its drivers the maximum competition. And for finally Ferrari were looking to gain ground on Renault in both championships. Ferrari lied second in the championship and Vettel has finally managed to find some form to match Leclerc. With their pace as good as, with their pace looking strong, Ferrari look like they are going to close the gap on Renault and hopefully for Leclerc, he can close the gap on Hulkenberg. Let's take now a look at the grid for today's Austrian Grand Prix. And Pierre Gasly lines up on pole for the local side. Daniel Ricciardo starts P2. Sebastian Vettel once again in the top three. Max Verstappen, good result for him, he starts P4. And Felipe Massa also starts P5, all of them in the same tenth of a second. Hulkenberg is only sixth. Van Dorn is seventh. Leclerc disappointed with eighth. Verne is ninth. And Lewis Hamilton, unsurprisingly outqualified by Van Dorn, starts tenth. Verline disappointed with 11th, but will have free choice of tyres. Carlos Sainz couldn't get the best out of his McLaren. He starts 12th. George Russell starts 13th. Sergio Perez is 14th on the O side. Nazar is 15th. Kubica disappointed only 16th. Da Costa once again a poor qualifying for him. He starts 17th. Magnussen is in 18th with Giovinazzi and Evans in last. So hello everyone and welcome back to another video of the F1 EMOD episode number 11 today for the Austrian Grand Prix, a circuit I've done very well at in recent games, uh, especially to Final Fantasy uh, F1 2017 getting our first victory there. But we're here in Spielberg, we're on pole again as Pierre Gasly of course in this series um, and we're coming to what is the end of this series this week. Uh, the twelfth episode should be uploaded earlier tomorrow, not as late as it is today. Apologies for the lateness, but um, traffic delayed me on the way home, so um, nothing that I can do. But anyway, um, it's looking good. Hopefully, we can convert something from pole, which we haven't really done so far on this channel, and it's quite a bad omen. You've done well to put it on pole, but we've still got work to do. Trying to cover the inside line off the start. Natural fact, I think I remember rightly, to this date on this channel, the only win we've ever had from Pole was actually in this series in China, so I don't know, there's promise there as we get ready for five red lights for the Austrian Grand Prix. And lights out and away we go, and as usual, it's a do oh dear, it's a wonderful start. I mean Vettel and Ricardo are already into turn one. Vettel's actually gonna have a go around the outside of Ricardo and is actually gonna take the lead on the Austrian Grand Prix. See what I mean? The starts need to be better on F1 2019 for the for the uh, user against the AI. You can see here he's on board with Charles Leclerc. Poor qualifying. I mean, he's actually getting swamped by a thing. Actually, see Massa getting swamped there on the outside. So that's unfortunate for Massa. Would be in their fifth place. He's going to have a go at Hamilton. Meanwhile, at the front, Ricardo and Vettel, two former teammates from 2014. Gonna have a go. We've got Volkenberg now having a go at Verstappen in the background there, but Vettel is gonna hold on against Ricardo. I believe Verstappen is gonna hold off on against. He's gonna hold on against uh, Hulkenberg, and Leclerc is already up into sixth place as Ricardo now is gonna stream past Vettel 
Will that be able to get him? No, will we be able to look at that? No, not quite much doing. Uh, Hulkenberg, though, behind us, while we were busy watching Vettel and Cardo, Hulkenberg got past uh, Verstappen, and so did Charles Leclerc into the hairpins of Verstappen. I suppose to be our real gunner, um, has lost three places. Um, but we are defending from Hulkenberg. We need the points more than Hulkenberg. Remember, we are th uh, fourth in the championship as it stands. Because, of course, we need Hutler. Ricardo is still in the fight. Battle, of course, is not in the fight. So, um, he's just playing for pride and also taking points away from... Oh, Hulkenberg's gone slow. Uh, that's a good call from Jeff. Let's see what's happened with Hulkenberg. As he moves to the uh, right hand side. Oh, there's a puncher. Puncher on the front right for Hulkenberg. So that's going to drop him down. Well, that's changed everything. And the safety car's been deployed as well. Presumably for Hulkenberg. Because, of course, he's going so slowly. Um, as we watch uh, Sebastian Vettel now. He comes up to the thing and almost... And now it's a safety car. He was about to have a go a at Daniel Ricciardo. Okay, copy that. And Jeff has given us the go-ahead to make a pit stop. We were going to pit on lap seven. We're going to pit a lap earlier. Um, the tyre should last. Austria is not a um, harsh track for tyre wear, so the tyre should last on a set of uh, super softs. Um, super softs tend to go well around this track anyway. Um, they seem to be. They seem to be the better tyre for us. Now, this is what you've all come to see. The perfect pit stop. There's Vettel. We pull into our pit stop. Vettel is delayed. And there's Ricardo. Just like that. We're in, well, what will we'll, we'll be a net P1 when everybody takes that position. When that makes their stop. Obviously, not everybody has come in. The two Williams has come in. And... Just to show you how bad Felipe Massa uh, had, Pascal Verlein leads. He started 11th, his teammate Massa started 5th, and he's ahead. So it's a Williams 1 2 at the track that they had last had a 1 2 in real life. Let's give this um, the best we can do. We got the, um, we, It's an advantage to us now. We've got Kevin Magnussen in the Portal Dragon. K-Mag, of course, has been doing wonders for us in Final Fantasy. He needs to do a couple of wonders for us in uh, F1 E-Mod. He's in that um, thing as we're going down the inside of one, not one, but two cars, including Antonio Felix da Costa, the Portuguese driving BMW car. Um, we're now lining up Sergio Perez around the outside. Lewis Hamilton there. They've all lost us heaps of time under the safety car. That's how much advantage we had. I think Hamilton was holding up everybody. Everybody's in the picks apart from Robert Kubica. In the DS Chichita car, who now leads the Austrian Grand Prix, but that Chichita car has had no upgrades the entire season, and it may have looked a pretty. It may have looked like it had kept with us at one point, but now it's a pretty average midfield car. Um, and Bitsa came in not long after that, but um, Ricardo was having a look at us. But as it stands, we're still going to be in fourth place, heading to 50 points available. As Ricardo is going to have a look around the outside, there's going to be 50 points available. We'll have, we will need uh, 20 outscore Hulkenberg, 28 of those to. Um, yeah, thing as Ricardo now uh, sinks behind Vettel, and will let. We're going to try and run away from Vettel, Ricardo, and Leclerc. It's good Leclerc is in P4, though I think those three are going to battle each other. Verstappen needs to close in as well. He's there in the background. He needs to close in. He's the fastest man on, man on track. As Ricardo had a look down the inside, locks up on Vettel, and Vettel managed to pull it around the outside. But moving up to through the fake turn two, up to turn two, Ricardo's going to have the much better downforce, and he's going to keep the position into the hairpin at turn three. A clerk now will have to uh, line up and move. Though saying that, we of course go in defensive, and now Ricardo is making the attack on us. So he really wants this win to climb up on his, show his teammate really who is boss. 
Well, I say that. No, he's not going to show his teammate who's boss. Because Daniel Ricciardo engine has turned into a barbecue. And therefore, Daniel Ricciardo is out, the, out of the race. And surely out of the championship. And for us, that is victory here in Austria. So, P1 around Austria, once again, one of my favourite tracks, we've won from pole again, um, we just got to do it in another series now, um, fortunately we didn't get fastest lap, fastest lap really isn't a strong point mine, the fastest lap was Verstappen, it was a close finish, uh, Hulkenberg was cl closed in that much, um, there really isn't much to separate between Red Bull, Ferrari and Renault in terms of pace. Vern, best of the rest, Van Dorn, Verlein, Kubitsa. In terms of the uh, Drivers' Championship, um, Nico Hülkenberg now has the... Uh, right, is Ricardo retiring gave it advantage him. Ricardo is out. It's a three-horse race going into... Um, Going into the final two rounds between Hulkenberg, Leclerc and Gasly, which of course is ourselves. Uh, not much else has changed amongst the top ten of vessels, Paul Clear of Hamilton. In terms of the Drivers Constructors Championship, Re Renault virtually got one grip on it, um, but Ferrari are closing in, although I think Renault need a double retirement in one of the races, which would definitely help us. Um, we are definitely not going to win. Um, so, the constructor is definitely more likely going to be Renault's. So, yeah, so that's going to be it for today's video. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you are new to see more episodes of F1 E Mod. Episode 12 should be coming tomorrow from the United States. The short circuit will be coming first. And then, hopefully, by Friday, I should have episode 13, the finale, which um, sees some crazy stuff happens in that race. Uh, not so much in episode 12, but episode 13 is crazy. It should be earlier tomorrow as well, so apologies for the late upload. Um, but yes, um, if you're watching this t on uh, Wednesday evening, then of course um, feel free to watch them back to back. Um, yes, that's going to be it. Until the next video, I'll see you next time. Take care, enjoy your day, and goodbye.